once more good morning. When I was coming here, I didn't know I was going to talk to you people. So my talk may be very disjointed. Um, I give you the responsibility to try to put the talk together so that you make sense um, uh, out of it. I'm George Mofani. Uh, this is a biodiversity program. I am far from it. I'm a geologist by training, so I have nothing to do with biodiversity. Uh, my interaction with Moses goes a long way back, uh, principally because of the office that I occupy in the region. I work with the uh, Regional Service for Research, so most of the activities of this nature, we they, they run through our office and we try to, to facilitate them. All I can say about this program is that um, uh, I think it's very important. Important in the sense that most of the information we have in this part of the world is in analog form. And even though it's in analog form, it's difficult for you to have access to such information. So uh, my thinking is that I stand to be corrected. If I understand what biodiversity informatics is, it will make data from this part of the world more available. But it's a very annoying thing that I cannot be in Cameroon, I need data from Cameroon, and I'm getting it from the UK. Because we are not taking our own responsibilities. So I'm calling on the participants from the various African countries to take this as their responsibility. We should move away from the blame game, blaming other people when we can do our own things in a little way um, to make sure that we have access to these, um, uh, to these data. So to me, I think it's a very good thing for Cameroon, for the other African, um, uh, African countries. One of the experiences I've had uh, participating in training programs like this and uh, uh, organizing training programs like this is that most participants uh, participate in the programs for touristic purposes, not because of the quality of uh, information or the training they are going to get. So we are happy to jump into aircraft, travel to a different country, but when we go back to our various countries, we really don't put into use the training that we have had. That's the experience I've had. And um, it waters down the whole idea of these training programs. And if the trainers were to follow up, they will realize that uh, less than 30% of the trainees effectively use the skills that they have um, acquired. So for those of us from Africa, let's take this very seriously. And let's not rely on institutions only, because we know the institutional problems that we have in Africa. But as an individual, because individuals make up institutions, and if the individuals are steadfast, if they are committed, then they are going to cause the institutions to be to be committed. Uh, I think um, with that, uh, I hope I've made a little sense out of um, uh, the disjointed things I have said. People should enjoy your stay in, uh, in Cameroon. We are working with Moses. If there are any problems, please let him know and we're going to uh, see how we can solve those problems. I understand some of you had some problems at the airport uh, yesterday. Uh, these kind of problems are not preconceived problems. Uh, anywhere in the world they can happen. But I'm happy that all of you are here and whatever setbacks you had, we hope that in the days ahead they are going to be corrected. So um, you're welcome and have a nice day in Cameroon. Thank you very much.